Hello everyone, uh, today we are going to test the energy meter from uh, Lidl It's only 9 uh, euros, uh, it is from uh, Silvercrest uh, It has dual tariff Before I start with the review, I like to tell you guys about, uh, uh, about my uh, review uh, Mostly I uh, do my reviews with uh, subtitles, this is my first uh, review uh, where I speak into it uh, Sorry about my English uh, this meter uh, is, uh, is a quite cheap meter. Normally they are cost uh, a lot more than this. Uh, you get uh, three batteries in it. It is a quite nice uh, box, to be honest, for, for its price. And you get uh, three years uh, warranty with it. Uh, let's open it up and uh, see uh, how it looks like. We get the meter of itself, of course. Uh, the battery is uh, uh, are. Uh, Protected with uh, some uh, plastic shield. If you took it out, uh, take it out, it will uh, show the meter. And, uh, we got a small manual. I already opened up one of these, and uh, to be honest, the uh, uh, manual uh, is a little bit confusing. It is not that uh, clear. Okay, we have the manual here. Uh, it's uh, talking about the tolerance. Uh, the voltage is uh, plus or minus 3%. Uh, percent. Uh, current same uh, only uh, with uh, 2 milliamps uh, plus and minus and uh, wattage same 3% and uh, plus 1 watt or minus 1 watt so it's pretty accurate for its uh, price when you remove the plastic after behind the battery you have to reset it that's uh, in the menu let's do that is now reset it. The display is uh, yeah quite nice, but some things like here, so showing that's in the fault mode now, it's uh, pretty small, and uh, maybe it's me being getting uh, old. I can't uh, read that from distance. Uh, it shows your wattage and 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 use and and uh, current draw. So uh, let's put it in our. Uh, in our search, see what it uh, shows. Takes a while before it uh, gets first measurement. The update speed is not that fast. It is showing it. I have uh, 232 right now uh, volts and uh, 50 hertz. Okay, uh, we attached uh, two meters to it, uh, plug 85, and uh, right now we are only measuring the, the voltage, of course. And, um, and to be honest, uh, I'm quite surprised. It is uh, showing the same voltage as uh, as the fluke itself. It's 228 right now, and it's showing there to 229 and 29. So it is uh, pretty accurate for a thing like this for 9 euros. It's uh, doing well. But uh, I'm not only going to test that. I'm going to try uh, put it on my Fariac and. Uh, just lower a bit uh, the voltage and see uh, if I go can go to till 200 or something and see what it does. Let's put it out here and put it in here. Okay, uh, I put it on a uh, Fariac now. Fariac now. It I put it on uh, 241 holes and uh, it's measuring same uh, let's drop to uh, 230 see if it's uh, still measuring same thing yes it does so it's pretty uh, accurate and let's go to 220 oops yep 220 it's measuring same thing again as the multimeter and let's drop to uh, 210 Yep, that one is working quite well too. Uh, let's go to 200. I'm not 
I'm almost sure you won't have 200 in your house, in your home. <coughs> but let uh, let's just test it for uh, to see if it's it's working good there. Well, it's quite uh, nice. It's even uh, down to one volt. Uh, it's working pretty good. To be honest, I didn't expect it. Okay, I'm going to set up uh, something uh, to measure current. Uh, first, uh, a small thing. It's not using that much. And uh, see what's, uh, what's the meter uh, doing. I hope uh, it stays good within specs. Okay, uh, I attached the Nokia charger with the phone to it to see how the current uh, measurement goes with this uh, energy meter. And um, I'm actually quite surprised because uh, I hear a lot of things that these things uh, won't show uh, good current uh, measurements with lower uh, uh, lower current drawing. But uh, this one is uh, working quite well actually. Uh, so uh, the measurements and uh, and your costs uh, should be pretty accurate uh, with lower uh, current drawing uh, uh, stuff too. Uh, so, I uh, yeah, for nine euros, it's doing pretty well to be honest. Okay, let's try a higher current device. Uh, the left meter is showing the the current, uh, so uh, watch on that one. Uh, it, this thing uh, might uh, make some sound. It's uh, around uh, two thousand watts, so. Uh, Sorry about that, I will uh, try to speak higher. Uh, that's right. Like you see, it is uh, drawing uh, 4.28 here, and uh, on the on the meter 4.30. But uh, it's pretty accurate, to be honest. It's uh, it's doing good. Uh, let's go to 8 amps around 8 amps and see what happens there yeah it's measuring quite well so your uh, if you have a higher end device on this thing it will work uh, and it will show you the cost at the end of, uh, of the measurement it's it's working quite well I'm uh, pretty surprised with this thing well this unit is uh, doing pretty good for its price so if you need uh, an energy meter, I I would buy one. I have already two. So, <laughs> but if you think uh, you need a cheap uh, meter and you see you see them on little, sometimes Aldi, those are big markets in uh, in Europe supermarkets. Okay, let's have a better look at this thing. There's a voltage measurement, current measurement, wattage, the max wattage it's read till now. And a kilowatt per hour, and the costs. Overall, this thing is uh, pretty good for its price. Uh, my uh, verdict will be: if you need one for nine euros, you can't go wrong with it. It's just nice, uh, solid gold uh, meter. It's pretty cheap, and it it is doing uh, its job. And. Uh, here you can see the spe specifications. Okay, if you like my video, just give me a thumbs up. Uh, my next video is uh, going to be about these things: uh, LED uh, lamps for G4 based uh, halogen bulbs, and uh, we are going to compare it uh, against this thing here and uh, I'm going to give some tips uh, which one you have to use and uh, which uh, transformator you need to use with them and uh, we do some uh, measurements to see which one is uh, the best and cheapest to get more uh, light of it till next time, bye bye